Hello. So, the new patch is here. And some people don't like it. Some people do like it. But most people, honestly, are pretty eh about it, if not disappointed. Why is that? And what do I think? Let's see. First, let's talk about the story. The story, honestly, was pretty okay. Um, I think. The ideas were pretty uh, nice, I, in my opinion. They're pretty cool. You know, the whole, like, the commander has a PTSD and is trying to essentially see, uh, essentially release their emotions, talk to other people, process these emotions in order to not get affected by the, uh, by the void that is actually tr trying to feed on you, on your emotions to, uh, to destroy you. Uh, was pretty interesting. There's been a, a few criticisms, which honestly, in my opinion, are valid about why did we go to, by the way, spoilers, why did Cinder's death traumatize you and why was Tomul there uh, and other stuff. But honestly, even if that, that's, even though that is okay, okay criticism, it is fair to say also that it's pretty interesting regardless um, how the commander is handling the situations. And I do think that at the end of the day, because you have a choice on which characters for you uh, to, uh, to decide on which characters you'll engage with, uh, you know, the, the trauma dump essentially in which you will engage with the uh, healing process in terms of emotions. I think it's okay. If you like Blish, you go with Blish. If you in, if you like Blast, you go with Blast. If you like Cinder, you go with Cinder. If you go to Arene because you like Arene, that's nice as well, right? Maybe there's more options would have been nice. To be honest, I think so too. You know, maybe Traherne should have been there. Uh, I understand that there, those are characters that have been there for a long time. You know, people are not really thinking about them anymore that much. But honestly, considering... Um, you know, the fact that you can choose, honestly, more the better. I understand that also, you know, each of these characters has to be voice acted, so it's not uh, possible to get every one of them, but nonetheless, it would have been nice, okay? Two, the collections. I think the collections are pretty awesome. Uh, the special ops, basic curse for the armor. Uh, it, honestly, it's pretty cool. Honestly, the, the, I mean, first, the, uh, the set looks pretty awesome uh, let me see if i can find anything uh, well i can't find everything because i haven't done uh the full set but i do have a picture of uh fam a person in my cat in my in my discord and that always comes to uh the metrains every day and that uh, hangs out with us and he's one honestly the best commander in a i'm just gonna say it right now guys they did finish it and they look awesome look at this guys look at that beautiful set absolutely great a big grind you have to go around to a lot of places. You essentially have to go to every one of the maps in Universe 2 guys in, D in EOD in order to do random events with other people honestly because otherwise you're probably not gonna find it or maybe you're gonna find you're gonna fail them uh, and uh, do different events in order to progress the collection and eventually you'll have everything done and uh, you'll have to go to so do some fractals, grab some items and then after that you're gonna have to go and do the second part uh, essentially special ops expert course or medium course i don't quite remember and you have to continue continue doing this until you have everything you can also have you can you can also collect the whole uh, the armor sets for this to get this little visor uh, helmet skin which honestly looks awesome uh, as well there's honestly a lot a lot to do in this patch in terms of grinding a lot of things to do uh and a lot of weapons as well that you can get from doing the meta now let's talk about the meta the meta sucks I was gonna say it, guys. I love metas. I love them so much, but this one uh, is honestly uh, pretty bad. Okay, like <laughs> you essentially have to go through this corridor, this tunnel, if you will, collecting energy, depositing it, collecting, uh, destroying a wall, collecting the energy, depositing, depositing it, destroying a wall, collecting energy, depositing, depositing it, destroying a wall again, three times in a row, guys. It's the same fucking thing. And at the end. You look at a very, very cool boss that honestly looks awesome, okay? It's absolutely pretty, 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 pretty cool. Uh, but also, you know what happens afterwards, guys? You cannot fight it. You just have to use your turtle to collect, what? It, guess what, guys? Collect more energy, put it somewhere, and use it to destroy the boss. Again. Now, to be fair, there's some cool things. The whole, like, Jade Behemoth, uh, energizing the, whole, the Jade Behemoth, and it dropping from the air, destroying the boss and then also your little rifles that you charge with the energy it's pretty cool and the boss honestly has some cool animation as well and some cool attacks but here's the thing you don't attack it it just dies afterwards and when you can actually attack the boss you actually don't even attack the boss you attack these little balls that we already have uh, killed in the haze part one so what's the deal why can i attack the big boss at the end oh wait wait, wait one second 
after three times of doing this, you know, you finally can attack the boss for the last five percent, and then he dies, and it's over. What the fuck? Okay, let me attack the boss, guys, please. Um, that's honestly the biggest criticism I have uh, against it. Uh, everything else is pretty okay, I guess. The root is honestly pretty okay, especially with the new filters that you get, guys, that you can uh, actually... Uh, let me see if I can get it here. You can actually buy some filters that will event... Uh, yeah, he's here, right? Oh, I don't have any power charge. But you get your battery charge, you get your filters, and there's gonna be two filters that now are gonna give you a possibility of giving you the uh, weapons uh, caches from Energy S. Luxon. Uh, caches that are actually pretty good. They're like 30 gold each, which is pretty, pretty nice. You can get the special ops one to get more events, charges, uh, to get a possibility of getting the uh, the cash each time you do an event, and the treasure hunter one for each time you get a cash, which is honestly pretty good. And uh, I made some good money while doing this, right? Even though I don't really like the meta, I just do it because it's kind of, you know, it gives you a lot of gold, okay, which is pretty nice. Um, things that the meta could do better, honestly, most things on the meta, they're pretty okay. The animations are pretty nice. Um, the boss is pretty cool. Uh, the honestly the mechanic of the turtle is not that bad to be honest. And the part one actually has been a bit faster. And there's some things that we have actually have uh, discovered, like getting the module in um, in the turtle, the pilot booster one, to so you can slam forever and, and with no cooldown to destroy the walls very very fast, which makes the part one of the meta very very fast. But but at the end of the day, still too long i mean i read a post about this what the new meta could be so good but it falls short in so many ways one of those things is that it's way too long uh doing the first part with 40, like 30 minutes and doing the second part for another 30 or maybe more it's too much now sure my meta train you know we'll do it very very fast because i i tell them what to do we go prepared and instead of one hour it's gonna be 40 minutes or 50 minutes but it's still even when you do it very fast it's still too long especially the second part where you can just or just have to go around with the turtle doing the same thing three times. How would I fix it? I would just make it so, you know, <laughs> I would just make it so you don't have to do that. Or, you know, you, instead of doing the thing, same thing three times, just do it once. Just eliminate two of the, of the walls and just make you collect the little, um, the little energy um, through the whole tunnel, right? And deposit it at the end. And then you're done. Easy peasy. It's, it makes it a bit of like, almost like a race. It's pretty, pretty cool. Now, you could not do this because, well, you can only get 10 energy uh, stacks uh, on your turtle. And then you, you have to deposit them and come back again. What if, wouldn't it be nice if you just go around, do it, go to the end, uh, get gather all the things through the turtle, everyone deposits it. Uh, and the faster you do it, the faster uh, the meta ends and you kill the boss. That will be pretty nice, honestly. That will be pretty cool. There's also some crystals that are around the tunnel that give you more orbs for the energy. It would be pretty nice instead of being in the floor, so you slam it, you'd be on the ceiling. You know, maybe maybe on the walls. So the gunner in your back of the turtle destroys them and has to point at them. You know, they already did this with the adventure of the search turtle. Just do that. Easy. And the last thing, in my opinion, is that you actually have to fight the boss. Honestly, it's a bit hard because maybe you need a rework from the boss, but holy moly, dude. It is so sad that it's, there's this huge boss that you want to fight with your sword, and it's okay, you know. You, it's uh, you know, I'm okay with you know collecting some magic with the with the uh, with the turtle and putting on the boss, and uh, putting on the um, and putting on and using it to get a behemoth or some rifles. Uh, apparently, the rifles are way faster, by the way, and um, destroying it so and making the boss vulnerable so you can attack it but let me attack the boss instead of some random ass balls guys why is there some balls that we have to kill let me attack the boss please just do that or just make it so whenever you remove the first vulnerable stack you know you have to kill the boss but then the boss doesn't have more any more invulnerable in invulnerability stacks so you can just attack it and uh, while evading the other attacks that the boss already does just do that instead easy okay why not dude you already have the mechanics that boss does just do that instead okay also having the same mechanic happening three times as well on the boss not good i don't want to do that three times in a row just make it if you're not gonna make it uh burnable to us with your your normal sword normal attacks just make it so you know it doesn't happen three times in a row guys please come on you can do it okay there's a lot of effort put into this finish it just, just do the last part just do the last part just get a patch done easy just change some things, make the program, make the events be faster, easy peasy. Also, after the boss ends, you have to go in here and collect the little chests 
uh, go back to the tunnel and collect chests. People don't like this. Now, honestly, I personally don't really care that much about it. I think it's kind of fun to like go around and just picking the chests again. Uh, you know, going through the tunnel again. I think it's kind of fun. But if you're gonna do that, why does it every time I can I get a cash, I have to get out of the mount? Make it so, or if you want to do that, do it well. Okay, do it, make it, or just put everything together so you just go in and pick everything, or make it so you get it just by walking towards it, like a normal chest, instead of like having to opening it and dismounting, mounting up again. Gonna make it like a race, make it like something fun. Okay, do it, do it. It's fine. Also. Another cool thing, though, that I'm gonna say is that whenever you end the boss, there's, there's like a little orb here that you can talk to, and it gives you uh, the only uh, debuff that will essentially make it so whenever you go around any other EOD zone, Honey will try and hunt you, and you're gonna have to go kill it yourself. And when you kill it, you get a lot of EXP, which is honestly pretty awesome because I love spirit stars because they make you get a lot of gold from Gen 3s or precursors or pre pog. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is the adventures. The adventures are absolutely great. They honestly should have been there from uh, Dragon Sand at the start, but you know what? For end of rounds at the start, but you know what? That's okay too. At least they put it now. The jumping puzzle here is awesome. The uh, it's timed as well with an adventure, and you can reset it each time you fail. Pretty cool. The um, roller beetle race here is absolutely great as well. The uh, Jadebot, um, the Jadebot ones uh, are okay, I guess, the Jadebot adventures where you're just running on getting orbs, it's it's fine, it's not the worst, uh, it's okay, I guess. Uh, and the skiff races uh, in here, in Kanang, in Sarong, uh, they're pretty cool as well. I would have liked some, um, some Griffin races as well. But hey, you can't have everything in life, and honestly, if you want to do Griffin races, I think they should uh, really figure out how to do it very, very well, because WoW really did a great job with those, and um, I would be kind of disappointed if they just do the normal ones that they already did in something like, uh, you know, Living Wishes 4. If you want to do that again, do it well, do it better, with more mechanics, with more things that are interesting. Uh, right now, they're a bit too simple. Not not that they're not difficult, they are, but a bit too simple, and a bit more, too boring, okay? Um... I think that's all on the patch. I think, honestly, overall, the patch could have been a 7 out of 10. Uh, if, the, if the meta wasn't bad, if they fix the meta, it will be a 7 out of 10 if they make it better. Uh, but if that's not the case, it's going to have to stay at a 4 or a 5 out of 10. Not the best. A lot of content to do, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. But the bad things that it has makes the, um, makes the, uh, the patch not that good. Oh, last thing, the little thing at the end of the story, guys, spoilers, by the way, at the end of the story, where you can choose to uh, essentially have a date with certain characters, absolutely fucking top-notch, okay? I think it was very, very good content, absolutely great, I really liked it, I honestly, I honestly wanted to do the story again, just to pick another character to do it again, but, look, I'm lazy, okay? But maybe I'll do it eventually, okay? Absolutely great content, good job, Ana, on that one. I would have liked... A bit more, you know, a bit more freedom on how you interact with your character. You know, maybe, you know, even though maybe nothing will happen, you know, it's not like you're actually going to date those characters. It would have been nice to be a bit more, you know, a bit more, uh, a bit more, uh, <laughs> a bit more flirty. I think it would have been funny. All on that, absolutely right. Um, but yeah, 5 out of 10 if they don't fix the meta. 7 out of 10 uh, if they do fix the meta and make it better, okay? Honestly, not the worst, not the best though. And they kind of wanted to this uh, patch to be better, uh, considering everything that has happened around the game lately. And uh, they want, honestly, they need people to be excited about the expansion. If they don't, I'm not gonna be happy. It's not gonna be good. All right. So hopefully the expansion is great, and uh, and they fix this patch as well. They make it a bit better. That's it. Subscribe to the channel. Follow the stream. Twitch TV slash Jersey with us. Get on my Discord in Hearthstone as well, the best Gears 2 uh, Discord in for Gears 2 in the game. And uh, have a good one, guys. Bye bye. Love you all.